This Monday, a section of women activists took to the streets of Kampala to protest against, among others, the contained inadequate daily allowances being given to them by their husbands, commonly known as Kameza money. On Kameza, such so that we, we get what you want. This debate has received wide criticism and divided opinion. Women who are demonstrating, well, it's a pain, but I'm wondering whether they gain from that. It could be, yes, but you see, family in terms of the right to privacy is sometimes a very, very respect. According to Sam Sendwala, a men's rights advocate, gone are the days where marriage partners was not only a matter entirely left to both parties, but to other family members. Those days they used to guide, they used even to hope you get that woman from a particular family. Nowadays we hustle our way out to get these wives. The problem is we are not talked to, we are not following the family structures of how to choose a partner. It is also urged that the transitioning world now calls for adjustments for stable families. 50 or 60 years ago, boys were given preference to girls in terms of access to education, access to resources. But we are seeing things change, especially when this constitution of the 1995 came into action, where they introduced the concept or the principle of affirmative action. A woman needs to hope out. A man needs to know his responsibilities. The reason why we don't need housewives is because life is unpredictable. Those days we had a few diseases that uh, wouldn't affect so much the man. Nowadays we have so many diseases that can put down the man. And if you want to depend on this man who is not healthy, the family is going to, to die of anger. Among the questions which women need answers to their spouses is why they come back late home or never. The reason after work a man says let me go catch up with my colleagues, my friends, they take some beers, they want to go home and many of them by the when they reach their compounds where they sleep, they just bend on the car, car seats, they sleep. They sleep in the cars because there is trouble in the house. There is trouble in the house. There is a fire burning in the house. So men are also emotional. They also have feelings. When you keep on shouting at them, doing this, even thinking for them that they have been with other women, and so sometimes it is not the case. It is pointed out that such conditions and others are making many men look at marriage as the last option. Uh, because you no longer have youth who are looking forward to a family. You have youth who, who really think that they don't want that kind of responsibility, particularly boys. They don't want that responsibility that, you know, that we have always known that men are supposed to take care of their families. So they don't want that responsibility. Actually, what most boys now are doing, they just impregnate one girl, they give them a child, they impregnate another. Many activists, however, can confidently confirm that indeed some allegations against them are very true, but unavoidable. Married men give side chicks a peace of mind. And these side chicks know how to handle these men. So when a man gets a, a lot of good care from this side chick, my dear, hey, you have to cry for yourself. This side chick knows even the kind of food this man would take. Side chick can even buy a good perfume. However much side chick is depending on this married man of yours, in this case, women are advised to move out of the comfort zone where they expect to be spoon-fed by men at all times, but rather reflect on that life without men or husbands. I also think that we need to educate our young women uh, that being economically independent is quite important. So you don't just be there waiting for somebody to take care of you. And then if in case they don't, then it becomes, your life just ends like that. So, Makere University lecturer from School of Women and Gender Studies, Dr. Ninsima Ani, alludes that money has totally shifted loyalty among partners. Even when we are talking about gender inequalities, for example, you realize that the big issue is really about money and poverty. So 
before we were not having those capitalist tendencies of you know money, 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 but now it's a norm. The debate on whether the responsibility of taking care of a family is entirely a money's task can be a good one for days. But to cut it short, many families are under these conditions due to the economic disability. Robert Onyango, UBC News.